Good morning, Organite. My name is Trevin or Trevin vs. NFT and I'm so excited to have you here for this video. Today's video will actually be a fun one in my opinion. We'll be going over the best wallet to use on Sui and a full walkthrough. And if you haven't seen the title by now, this wallet is called Ethos and there's so much it offers. So let's jump straight into the video. If you actually haven't already downloaded Ethos as a wallet extension, all you have to do is go to ethoswallet.xyz and it can take under one minute to install and that's a very simple process. Once you have done that, it will bring you into this amazing thing that is called the dashboard. And wow, is there a lot that it offers. So when you first get in, it will show you what your SUI balance is, if you have any USDC or any other tokens on the SUI blockchain. And this is going to be the big one for a lot of people, your collectibles. So currently I have over 350 NFTs on SUI and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Also shows you on the right hand side what your recent transactions are. So if you did need that text ID, it's right there. Super, super simple. We will be moving on to the wallet tab. The wallet tab is just kind of like the first page or the main home screen, but it goes a little bit more in depth of what you actually hold. So right now we have SUI, we have UCC, SUI for staking, and then we have Stork, which is part of the Stork NFT collection. And they make it very easy to send tokens here as well. All you have to do is just highlight which token you would like to send and then hit send paste your address, hit continue, and put in how much you'd like to send to that address. Third tab will be collections, and this is probably going to be the biggest tab in my opinion. This is where it shows all of your NFTs that you own. So obviously, since I am scrolling, I do own a lot of NFTs on the Sui blockchain, and I'm very thankful to be a whale, and there are just so many cool collections that are coming to the ecosystem, and it's only getting started. And last but not least is my favorite tab called Discover. And this is where you really get to understand what is already on the ecosystem of Sui and how you can get involved more. So starting off, it'll be showing you different categories. They have finance, they have games, they have marketplaces, NFTs, social events, and even tools. This is where you can really see what areas you wanna dive deep more into and there's just so many different options already. So the main ones will be marketplaces, tools, and NFT platforms that are able to buy and sell NFTs. And as you can tell, if I just keep scrolling, there is a lot of different already websites. And my favorite thing about this is they show you actually what it's about. So let's just say that we want to look at Keepsake. If we click on their profile, it will actually be showing you a little summarization of what the website offers and it's very easy to just click. All you have to do is just hit open and I like this a lot because I'm very careful of what links I click, but in the wallet itself, they make sure that is the correct link so no hacking or phishing can happen to you. And once you basically just hit open, it'll bring you straight to the website and you get to explore more on what Sui does have to offer. And a really cool feature that I actually like a lot, and I feel like no one really thought about it until they actually put this out, is the favorite feature. So you can go over which social app or marketplace or whatever you would like to add to your favorites. And all you have to do is just hit the star in the right hand corner of it. Once you hit that, it will actually show up on your left hand side of what apps that you want quick access to. And we are not done yet. Another amazing feature is called address book. Kind of like with your contacts on your phone, but this can be for any address on Sui. So all you have to do is just hit add new. You can type in whatever nickname or whatever name you'd like for it. Then you just have to paste the address of wherever you're sending it to. So you can put burner, you can put NFTs, whatever you can think of. And then you can choose a color for it or you can choose even an emoji then you can save that so then when you are sending nfts or sui or anything that you like you have quicker access to this so it's one step away and last but not least i want to talk about on the dashboard is my assets and this is a really cool feature you're able to basically bulk send or send anything that you would like 
So for example, since I do have the majority of NFTs, all I have to do is go on the right hand side, click NFTs. If you're looking to send SUI or native tokens on the SUI blockchain, you can hit coins and it will really categorize everything for you. So it's a lot easier to find. So let's say I want to send a couple NFTs. All I need to do is click on NFTs, select which NFTs I would like. And the best part is they are mainly alphabetized. So it's a lot easier to find the collection that you want. So let's just say I want to send a couple D Sui labs to my burner wallet. Once I click three, I scroll back up. I go over to send on the right hand side. And then all I have to do is put in which address I want to send to just hit send and then it'll bulk send those NFTs. Okay. So the next thing is we'll be talking about is actually the extension for the wallet itself. So when you do go to ethoswallet.xyz, you will be installing the extension, which is basically your wallet when you connect to any site on SUI. And the best part is they actually talk with each other. So since we actually, favorited some of those D apps that we already have, there actually will be at the very top. So when you kind of hover over and you basically just take the wheel, we have type is finance, hyperspace, keepsake, Zoe names, got beef, trade port, all the fun websites that I just want easy access to right at my fingertips. And the cool thing is you can actually really customize the extension itself. So I was able to basically put an icon of one of my D Sui labs as the actually wallet picture, which is really cool. And for the most part, it's very simple too. It just is kind of compressed into obviously an extension. So it has all of your tokens. Then if you go down and then you click on kind of the little folder icon, it'll show you what tokens you actually have. And then the big one obviously is going to be the NFTs. And if you actually hover over a little bit, it'll show you exactly what it's called. So these are all the NFTs I own, which is <laughs> definitely a lot. <laughs> and then if we go over to like the little history tab, it'll actually show you everything that you have done transaction wise, which is super fun. Okay. So the fun thing is customizing your wallet on extension, super easy and fun to do. So the first thing you want to do is go in the top left hand, hit customize. This is where you're able to choose whatever name you like for the wallet. I like to say NFTs. We'll hit next. And the cool thing is you're actually able to use an emoji or an NFT itself in the wallet. So obviously I have my DSUI lab. All I have to do is hit NFT and then it'll find which NFT hit continue. And that's your new PFP. And for theme wise, obviously we have the dark mode, light mode and system. Super simple, really easy and really fun. And this is obviously where favorites are going to be. So we've already favorited some of the things that we work a lot with, and there's just so many cool different D apps on the app itself. And just like that, that's all the crazy things that ethos does offer. The list really can go on and on and they're only improving. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I truly do appreciate it. Another alpha on ethos. They are in maintenance right now to make it a mobile app and I cannot wait for it. I've already been able to test drive it and the app is amazing. Just like the extension itself, almost just like the extension, but on your phone or whatever device you'd like. I hope you have a fantastic day in web three and I'll see you out there. Bye.